The what is district assembly in the Upper West Region on Monday failed to elect a new presiding member after two rounds of voting. In the first round of the polls, Honorable Mbena Batimuti, the assembly member for Kundugu Electoral Area, garnered 24 votes out of the 37 votes cast, while Honorable Torang Amwa, assembly member for Yala Electoral Area, secured 12 votes with one rejected vote. During the second round of voting, Honorable Mbe Nabatimoti polled 25 votes while his contender had 12 votes. By this, neither of the two candidates secured the two third mandate to be elected. Speaking to Honorable Mbe Nabatimoti, Assembly Member for Kundugu Electoral Area, a contestant urged his colleagues to vote for him to help move the Assembly forward because development was a shared responsibility. Well, that's the beauty of democracy. Uh, well, I know it's a process, and I am very sure that come the third time, I'm going to sail through. Yes. What, what, what are you going to do differently to make sure that you are, you are sailing? Of course, yes. I mean, this is an in-house matter, mm-hmm. but I know I'm going to consult as many assembly members as I will. Because I'm a new person, and because some people also have come in new, in most cases, we don't even have the numbers of some of them. All the same, I know that this time, now that we have met, we have interacted, I'm going to get the numbers of most of them and we will continue to talk. And at least within the next 10 days, uh, I know I'm going to be uh, voted as the presiding member for... Honorable Torong Amwa, who is also a contestant and assembly member for Yala Electoral Area, believes that the inadequate developmental projects in the 19-year-old Wa'is district were because of bad leadership. Yeah, we are yearning for development in this district. For me, as a person, I've seen that the challenge we are having here is leadership problem. And so with some of us stepping into leadership positions, we will see how we will turn things around in the district. You can go around. You, why is this 19 years old? I don't know whether when you came, you went to the town. You didn't go to the community. So read this. There is no Thai road, no single Thai road in Wai'is. 19 years. It's a leadership problem and nothing else. So we are fighting it. We want to see that Wai'is is developing. I'm a little bit disappointed that maybe we have not been able to get a PM. The district chief executive for Wild East, Honorable Ewura Mahama Kandi, said he was demoralized but not disappointed at the turn of events. Generally, I felt demoralized and not de- uh, disappointed. Demoralized in the sense that it's about what is. But I am not all that disappointed uh, because people are expressing their opinions through the box. So, and we have to, to relate that democratic process. That's why I said it's not that disappointing, but it's actually demoralizing. So I am demoralized, but not disappointed. He is optimistic that when they return in 10 days' time, the assembly will be able to elect a new presiding member. So I want to believe that, yes, what happened, definitely we need to uh, sit up and talk to each other and let everybody know that, yes, it's about what is, and then we'll come, and then I believe next time, God willing, we'll get a presiding member. And... All what I would say is that, please, let's see how we can move what is forward. And that can only be done when we all disagree to agree on issues, but what is development should be the paramount thing that all of us should always look at. The what is district electoral officer said, since none had gotten the required number, he called for another polls within 10 days. Per the standing orders of the assembly, the two candidates have the chance to contest for the third time. If neither fails to secure the two third required, they will therefore be asked to step down for fresh candidates to be nominated and voted for. My name is Hatien Wadi, reporting for Apple West PR TV. Fonsi Wa East.